Hey guys, welcome back. Today's episode, we are completely updating our iron factory. We are com finishing up our iron rods, have the iron plates already done. We are expanding to a second level. We have screw manufacturing doing nothing. We have built a complete mess of a copper setup because we did not have any wire. And again, we ran out of power. We ran out of power and we ran out of power multiple times. We have upgraded, expanded, and uh, beat the crap out of the uh, nature here. And let's not forget about the brand new space elevator. But if you guys are excited to see all that and more in today's episode, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. But let's get to it. Three, two, one. Welcome back guys to another video of Satisfactory. I'm Seth and this is Marwin Gaming. Today we are going to expand out the rest of our uh, iron rod factory. Um, we only have one third of it technically built right now. Um, we are going to expand that out so that we can build screws and we are going to get a factory on level two of this building uh, creating the screws as well as reinforced iron plates because we are going to need that when we upgrade to our tier 2 belts. We're going to need that. But yeah, I'm going to get that done. I'm actually going to expand out these bits of constructors here. I'm going to get all of the iron rods built out and then we are going to move forward from there and go up a level so that we can take all of our iron rods which are, are stored over here. Uh, we're going to get a couple more bins to finish off our iron rods. And then that is going to come up up the next level right here. We might add one more. Uh, actually, we don't really need to. We might, though. Um, we really need the, uh, the store so that we can get some wall uh, exits and enters. But uh, we're going to get that going here. Um, so I will be right back and have that ready to go. All right. Again, quick update, guys. We ran out of power again. So this is going to be an ongoing battle because we're going to constantly be running out of biofuel and it's a disaster. So I'm just going through right now and just stocking up on the leaves and I'm going to convert that to biomass and then hopefully place that in our constructors to build our biomass, not a biomass, our biofuel. Uh, because we are going to run out of that very quickly and very quickly again. So this is, oh hello orb. Ooh. Oh, so that's what I was looking for. I got it. Okay. Good thing it's a work in progress. Oh dear. What? What one? Oh. No. Oh. Okay. Hoi. Oh, almost got me. You're gonna kill me, aren't you? No, I'm gonna get you. I need to find a spider. That's what I need to find. Well, that was close. All right, well, I'm going to continue uh, chopping down these trees, convert it into some biofuel, and I will be right back. Ah, doesn't that just look so much better? Now you can actually see things. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. Oh, I missed a tree. So, I'm just floating here because I just completely destroyed all this entire area here. And now we can actually see the crazy, ugly things that were trying to attack us. Uh, but yeah, that was a quick update. I'm gonna continue uh, making the biomass here and then uh, And turning it into some biofuel. So I just thought I'd share that uh, brief news with you that I had completely chopped down all the trees in the area um, But we should be good. You know what I just saw there actually we do need some quartz so let's uh, jump off the cliff and get some quartz here for a second. This will actually give us a new thing in the ma'am, I believe. Hey, did I make it? No, oh, I didn't make it. Okay. Yeah, so let's quick open up the ma'am too. I've been doing a little bit of research and uh, I got a few things on the ma'am unlocked, but uh, there's some things on there that I definitely would like to get unlocked that I don't have unlocked. So now we have the quartz tree, so that's good. Let's start that research quick. Let's see what's in here. 
Um, all right, quartz crystals. Ah, oh, yeah, this is what I want. So I would really appreciate the Blade Runners for sure. So I pretty much need to make silica. Oh, and as well, this gives you the, the shop, I think. Wait, what gives you the shop? I don't know. I think, do I, is that part of the, that's actually part of this, isn't it? Yeah. Um, not tier two. You know what we have to build? <laughs> we have, we need to build the, uh, oh yeah, here's what I want. Here's what I want. You know what? I'm actually going to get this quick. So give me, uh, give me one second. All right. We've got all the material. So let's actually just throw that in there. Cause actually it would be very nice to have the resource sink as well as the, the shop because we could definitely use some of the cool things that the shop gives you so what does it give how hard is this to build I just need screws you know what I can actually build a sink and I think I need to because I have to uh, get some points so we're definitely going to need that. Uh, I'm actually thinking that we'll just kind of throw it back here for a second. So let's get a few of these. Oh. Ah. Alright. Go that extra kilometer. Alright. So let's get an awesome shop in there. As I make my way through the downtown there. Okay. So I think if we just... Uh, get rid of uh, a few of like my iron plates because I'm assuming I have a lot yeah oh my yeah I have like uh like 8,000 in there right now I don't think I need that many <laughs> so we're just gonna not have a power line to connect to that's fantastic I don't have any wire anyway all right so let's uh I'll get back to that uh, let me get back to actually turning the power back on and I will be right back Oh boy, I have almost made 10,000 biomass. Uh, that's a lot. Um, but yeah, so we can also make some color cartridges. So we might make a few of these because we'll eventually need to use it. So I'll just get maybe 100 made. I think that's fine. But we can make a total of almost 3,000 solid biofuel. That's uh, quite a bit. We're actually going to convert all of this over to some organic data capsules because I'm sure we're gonna need those eventually so we're actually gonna just create maybe um, I don't know what maybe a, a hundred or no not even a hundred just maybe 50 or 40 solid biofuel so we can place those in the two that ran out and then we're gonna place the rest of the biomass into those other constructors that we had built that were there to uh, create the solid biofuel so let's just get a few made here so that we can place them in those empty ones and then the power should come back on and we should be all good to go i just can't wait till we get to some coal power <laughs> because this is this is the worst having to do all this oh and also um i don't know how this is going to work on youtube but i did turn the night back on and oh my goodness is it gorgeous how cool is this looking this is amazing the planets move yeah, so I turned, I, I got rid of my permaday mod and I added in um, the the light sky sky mod skylight. I don't remember what it was, but I don't recall how to open it up, so we are not gonna do that at the moment. Um, okay, so let's put all of this back in here for these constructors, just so we have that, and then. That's gonna need some, so let's kind of split it into four, I guess. So we'll just add them in there for now. These are all gonna die very quickly, but we just need enough power to last us for like 10 seconds so that uh, we can make the rest of the biofuel uh, in these constructors. Now, however, we capacity consumption mass consumption is over the limit so we are definitely going to need another one of these um, and I don't have the wire for it so I'm gonna get this all situated we're gonna get the power back up and running we're gonna get all these creating the biomass or the biofuel that we need and it creates it so much faster than I could create it and uh, I'll be right back alright so here actually I've, I've figured out how to open it it's actually control L uh, it's a very nice UI, um, and so we're just gonna kind of be, we're just gonna to stick it here at like almost noon, and we're gonna leave it as uh, static. We're gonna pause it. All right, so that should be good to go. Now we can actually see what we're doing again. 
All right, we've made about 100 wire. That'll help us, that'll hold us over for just a little bit. Uh, we're also actually also gonna just select this milestone here because we're gonna need the assemblers, uh, which I just realized. Um, we don't need it for screws because screws just come from the rods, so that's good. But uh, we are gonna need that for the reinforced arm plates. Um, all right, so we needed another one of these guys, which hopefully can go just kinda right there-ish, probably good enough. Connect that sucker up there, and then we'll throw in that one piece of wood. That's not going to do anything. Okay, that should be good. Why don't I have fuel? Where is? It? Don't tell me it just died. No. Okay. Whew. All right. There's 240 in that guy. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna just keep refilling these for now. Um, we could technically put a container in there, but that's okay. Um, let's, let's pull these guys out. You're gonna need some. Let's split split these for a second. You're gonna need some. Yeah, this is a uh, not good. I think it was you, right? Yeah, you're already out. Yeah, this isn't gonna last very long. This is a not. This is not going well. Um, <laughs> uh, we're gonna need to get uh, some massive coal upgrade here now. I don't even remember where the coal was. Problem is, I kind of need to just turn it off while I'm not doing anything. Uh, how do I turn the power off? Just kill it? Can I just kill it, please? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Blow. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Because I don't want it to just waste all of my fuel <laughs> while, while it's sitting here doing nothing. All right, well, um... Yeah, so I didn't make it anywhere. I did create some. Uh, I did. I did create one extra line here. Um, I have not set these to actually do anything. So they're going to be making iron rods. I need to connect this side yet. But uh, yeah, let me let me do that quick, and then uh, this whole thing will be filled out. We will have them placed over there into our bins, and then we need to make a second floor here um create the screws because we need the screws and then because the screws are, are, are a big part of a lot of the milestones right now and so we just need that so i'm gonna be right back and uh we'll have that finished here just in a in a jiffy okay here we are i have done it um everything is not moving obviously but uh we have this row ready to go we have these four ready to go and then i actually made it exit the other way and then it goes down below it's actually pretty smooth um that doesn't look like that's connected but uh it is we might just redo that to make sure but uh yeah so that goes down below um you can see that it goes all the way over there and then <laughs> just uh, up the other side so it's actually very smooth um, I also as you can see well as you can't see yet but I removed the concrete we're actually gonna move that over to a different location and that's a hole and now the part of the show where Seth comes out and tells a funny joke welcome Hillary to the channel <laughs> this is my lovely wife she's gonna join the channel for today's Joke of the day. Hillary, what's the last thing that goes through a bug's mind when it goes through the windshield? I don't know. It's butt. Okay. <laughs> Alright, she didn't find that one funny, guys. Thanks for watching today's Joke of the Day. We'll see you guys later. And that concludes this brief intermission where Seth comes out and tells a funny joke. Please enjoy the rest of the show and do remember to leave a laugh. Alright, we are going to try that again. Uh, I don't know why that's gone, but we're gonna move that concrete over where there's like three other nodes over there, plus we have the normal one that's way over there anyway, and so no reason to have it all back over here. Need a couple of different places. This is gonna be kind of an iron place, so might as well leave this all iron, and then we're going to make uh, the, the other one all the concrete. So let's just uh, kind of finish this up here, and actually I'm just gonna delete this or take all this stuff out, which is 2800 concrete. That should last us for a little while. Um, but now we are going to turn the power back on so that we can start making all of our iron rods. 
So let's do that. Let's turn all these back on, and then we should be able to start. Let's make sure we are. Oh, we are just, just under the max consumption. That's amazing. All right, so this isn't gonna last us very long, though. Um, uh, yeah, it's not gonna last us very long at all. But I do have a ton of biomass that's still waiting to be good. Uh, so let's do that. Let's get the biomass in here. Okay. We're just going to have to divvy up all of this biofuel, so obviously when it blows up again and dies, uh, we're going to have to fill them all back in. Um, I'm almost thinking that we we probably just take it all out and split it, but uh, yeah, this one, this one does not need that much in here. So let's just put a hundred in there and fill those in for some other of the ones that are going to go out first, um, which I believe would be this one. So let's just put an extra 50 in there, and yeah, we'll put a 50 in there, let's split that, we'll put the 100 in there, and we'll put a 100 in there, okay, so that should last for a little while. But, you can see, this is uh, really taking shape here, um, and all of these should be building iron rods. And there you are, let's do a little flyby here, yep, alright, they are all building, and they are all going into... Aziz three bins. So, oh, I never connected this. Uh, let's uh, get this connected here finally, and then we're gonna just remove that one, connect there, and then connect that there. Oh, well, we blew the power again. So uh, maybe we just don't have the resource sink going because I'm sure that thing uses a lot of power. So we'll just turn that back off. Okay, so let's just turn the power back on. Alright, um, what we need to do is to build a another level to our platform here. So let's get a wall and I'm thinking we probably need it three height probably four height and then the base on that like so we will just zoop that down to the bottom and then uh, we will get some man uh, we gotta get the screws built and then we can create our menu or our assemblers and we'll get that uh, get that rear and going so these three here are all our iron rods and uh, all we need to do is bring those up and that should be perfect um, so yeah let's see if it uh, if you see if it lines up first and then we will go off of that you know what it's not bad we will take it hopefully that doesn't line up okay perfect all right Oh, would you look at that? That is splendid. So we'll just take this up here and I will be right back. Okay guys, change of plans. We need to build a space elevator pretty much immediately because we need to get off of this power. Because <laughs> this power is killing me. I don't have any... I, there's. Oh, it's the worst. Okay, so we need to build the space elevator. Um, in order to build the space elevator, we need to have 1500 copper wire. We currently have no copper anything happening right now, uh, which is not great. Uh, we have the one over there. We are making screws. I do have one line of screws being made, so we'll have to deal with that. Um, however, this copper is doing nothing and we need a lot of wire. I don't think I'm going to sit there and make 1500 wire, so we're just going to build a quick little, uh, quick little factory over here that's uh, going to take this this wire over here and uh, or not wire copper and just turn it into some wire because I can't be bothered to make 1500 wire so we are going to make a quick smelter and then we're gonna make a little connection there we're gonna just connect it up no don't connect it to that connect to another separate post that and then we can connect to that one okay and then we're gonna need a constructor because we gotta make the oh I need reinforced iron plates Oh boy, okay, well, we should be able to do that. Let's make a few screws, and then we just need a couple iron plates. And then, uh, yeah, let me get this settled, and I will be right back. 
Well, if this ain't the jankiest thing you've ever seen in your life, uh, yeah, this looks like absolute crap. But you know what? We're gonna deal with it because we just need to get some copper. What? 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 Wait. What happened? Well, wait. Oh, was this guy connected to that one? Oh, wow. That is a nice mess of wires. <laughs> okay. So. That should be making, taking 30, we split the thing of 60, now it's making 30 and 30, perfect. We're making 30 of these, we need to split that into one of these, so now each one is making 30, and then we can split, merge these back. Oh boy, let's see how many we've got now. All right, we have 120. So, this is gonna take a little while, um, but as I think we have, we are making one, uh, let's see, 36, we are, we should be making 120 per minute, so that's good. Uh, let's kind of get these off so that they're not backed up. So that's good, that's good. Uh, these shouldn't be backed up, so that's good, okay. Now it's just the waiting game. Um, yeah, so once we get there, I'll be right back, and we'll figure out a nice place to place our, uh, space elevator. I'll be right back. Okay guys, in the meantime, while we've been waiting for all that copper to be finishing up and creating, what, 1500 we thought uh, we said? Yeah, I think so, right? We need 1500, yes. I have built a little platform out here. This is where the copper is actually going to be made. Currently, I have two copper nodes and that's not gonna make a ton of wire, but it's gonna be enough for now because uh, it'll have to do. Plus, we can't really make very big things right now because we literally have zero power. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna end up taking that one there, that copper, that's a normal, I believe, and then we have the copper over there. We'll just rearrange that up here. Yeah, so pretty much each line has two smelters, so we'd have four total smelters, which is not a lot. And then each one of the smelters can do two constructors, so we would have eight constructors making wire, and then maybe two of those lines of 60 could do the the cable because we're going to need some cable too but yeah um, i'm still letting that finish so we will be right back when that finishes and then we should be able to build the space elevator and speaking of space elevator i'm not really sure where i'm going to put it yet i built this nice little platform uh, but i don't think i'm going to put it there yeah i don't know um maybe i'll clear out this little area right here and then put it there on a platform? I don't know, at this point I'm just kind of making uh, random platforms all over the place, so uh, we'll have to see how that works. But uh, yeah, I'm thinking I might clear this out and then possibly build a little platform out there and then stick it there. I don't know, it'd be kind of nice, cool to have an extra big tower. Uh, just as long as the little alien bird thing doesn't fly through it. But uh, yeah, let me get that built. Uh, in the meantime, that should definitely be creating a bunch of wire. So maybe once I finish up this, uh, the wire will be done. So, yeah. Oh, okay, guys. I was just out here minding my own business, and then there's two big boys out here trying to kill me. Oh, dear. I'm going to die so hard here. Oh, that was a good one. I don't know where the other guy went. Oh, he went down there. Where are you going, huh? Where are you going, huh? Where are you going? Are you stuck in that bush? Oh my, okay, here we go. Jump in action. Jump in action. Alright, we got one almost. Oh yeah, okay, we got him. Oh! Where is he? Is he hiding in that bush? Did I kill him? Where is he? Oh dear. You know what? Episode 1 was Can I Survive? And I think I'm still trying to survive. I have no idea where the guy went. Where'd he go? Is he hiding in these bushes? Did he fall down? Oh, there he is. Okay, here we go. Sneak attack. Here comes. Oh, oh yeah. One shot kill right there. Boom. Let's go. Okay, well, back to what I was doing. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, sorry about that. Okay, guys. I don't know. I think that looks okay. You know, you can put some supports in the corners. Uh, it could be okay. I mean, it's not the, the greatest, but uh, it does fit on there. So, Let's see, can I reach it that far? Nah, I can't quite get it there, but uh, yeah, no, it looks pretty good. I think it matches up with that fine, so that'll have to do. Let's figure out 
how much uh, wire we got over here. See what we got up to in that couple minutes there. Ah, yeah, this one might kill me. Ooh, cool, that was close. <laughs> Broke my legs. What do we got? Oh, uh, you know what? Uh, we have it. Let's go. All right. Look at that. We have done it. All right. So let's go over there and build it. And uh, so, oh, yeah. So the only reason we needed to do that is because we need uh, to be able to get coal power because we can't be going off of this. Um, all right. Let's build a little platform here. Nice little way to get up. All right. All right. Okay. So let's build the space elevator see how it looks. Alright. That is a lot of material right there. Yeah, there's plenty of space on this side too. Um, uh, well, I don't really love how the thing is over here, but, uh, oh well. Alright, are we ready to watch the greatest animation in the history of games? The whole camera shakes, that's amazing. Here it comes. Oh my. Okay. I don't know, that's pretty darn cool if you ask me. And attached. Let's go. Alright, nice and simple, nice and simple. So, we pretty much just need to make some smart plating. However, that's not really the point of why I made this. The point of why I made this is that we can extend to the next levels because we need to get coal um, you know what I might do I'm gonna make a little platform over to here so that we can make this connect over yonder I know it doesn't line up perfectly but you know what it is not too bad if I put a little slope on this sucker and then one more I mean <laughs> that lined up pretty nicely I'm okay with that you know it doesn't need to line up Exactly. And you know what? There's a blue slug right here. I'm gonna go get that blue slug. Not bad. Okay, now we need to get back on the platform. As I fall, I'm gonna fall. I'm totally gonna fall. I'm totally gonna fall. Can I get on, please? Thank you. Okay, here we go. There we go. Okay. Yes, so the whole plan for that was so that we can get tiers 4, 3, and 4 because that has coal. And I have to complete elevator phase one I was not aware of that hmm oh that's such a bummer okay well we're not gonna get that in today's episode um, but yeah I think I think we're just about done to be honest we have our screws being made uh, we have our amount of copper that's somewhat decent uh, we have enough we have enough biofuel that we can uh, work with for now we have some left over, which is good, and we're get, we have plenty of wire being made. But I think we have made a good amount of progress in today's episode, to be honest. We have our entire screws being made up there, which I have not even looked at since we started. Oh, they are actually still making them. I'm a, I'm a bit surprised. I would have thought they were all done by now. Oh, these ones are. Okay. You know what? It might be fine to actually leave these in here because otherwise they're going to use power and we don't really need the screws yet so we're going to leave that be um, but yeah yeah thanks everyone for uh, joining today and um, we made a lot of good progress we have this space elevator all assembled we are ready to start flooding in some projects there we do need some assemblers uh, in order to make those rotors so that's something because we need the rotors to make the plates we will do that, deal with that in the next episode. Thanks again, guys, for watching. And have an amazing rest of your day, and thanks again for watching. really means the world. We'll see you guys.